is a 99 block which gives you hall of fame anchor worth it on 2k24 today i'll be giving my opinion but along the way to 99 block you also get hall of fame chase down artist and hall of fame pogo stick so it's really are all these badges worth it now let's look at the build i made for this test because i'm pretty excited to show y'all so i wanted a 99 block obviously but i also wanted to get the most vertical you could possibly get while having a 99 block so i had to go low on my height and as you all see at six foot eight you do not get a 99 block six foot nine is the first height so i went power forward six foot nine lowest weight except for one pound which i'll explain in a second so we have 99 block and one away from having the highest vertical you can possibly get while still having a 99 block now the reason that i did not go 94 vertical as you guys see when i back out of the screen you're going to go down to 91 defensive rebound by simply going down one pound which as you all see is going to make us lose our goal Gold rebound chaser we just go up one pound right here and you will have gold rebound chaser which i figured was a good trade-off i also have on block boost and the weekly workouts were done when i was recording this video just in case it gives you extra attributes as well to maximize every single thing we could possibly do so we're about to hop into the wreck if you guys enjoy these wreck videos especially drop a like for me and let's get into it all right, so into the first gameplay, I wanna make sure you guys understand that I did not create this build to play 5v5. If I did, I would've probably went lower standing dunk and driving dunk to get a higher strength for the brick wall and also more pass accuracy, but here we are, we ball, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm gonna tell you guys in this gameplay if I think you should upgrade to a 99 block. Is it worth it? I'm gonna show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So you see, I feel like I should've blocked that right there. I don't know if that's just because, you know, Hall of Fame Anchor is not the end all be all great thing in the world and you should block everything or i was just in position and 2k didn't give it to me i have no idea but we have that 75 standing dunk plus 75 driving dunk which gives me Giannis onto the kumpo dunk package which a lot of people don't have because you have to have both of those pretty high and it's a pretty good dunk package i'm not gonna lie to you guys so anyway like i told y'all man i grinded this build out to hall of fame anchor in the first gameplay so i can really you know tell you if i think it's worth it or not i've used all sorts bronze silver gold i've used every level of anchor this year and i'll tell y'all man it does get better as you go up but does it get better in terms of is it worth it because as you all know going up really high on really any attribute except like post control for the most part is going to cost a lot of points so it's like could you have a 92 or 93 block whatever it is to get gold anchor and then spend that on other parts of your build or is that jump up six attributes which which is worth a lot actually worth it so i don't know i'm gonna show you guys the gameplay to go along with it as well but you see in the start of this game we're actually in a decently close game and something weird i've seen someone say it wasn't towards me but they were like if you're in pro-am and look at this right here i get a foul but hall of fame anchor does pop up they're like if you're in rec with a squad why not just play pro-am i mean that's what the whole point of squads rec is and i don't know if you guys know or not if you've tried it but literally and bullet hits a disgusting shot right here but pro-am fives is basically the exact same thing as squads wreck i mean it's almost the exact same thing private pro-am where you start playing in leagues and all that is a lot different anyway on the fast break we're up 15 to 10 and the, at the beginning of this game we weren't really doing a lot here to show is 99 block worth it is the vertical worth it but we get our first rebound of the game and something interesting that people argue about uncle demi uh if you guys watch my video said that vertical doesn't matter for rebounds and blocks he said that a few months ago but then a 2k game developer zach timmerman said that it does now i can tell you guys from my experience that i 100 percent i mean if i had to put the house on it i would put the house on vertical does help you jump up higher for rebounds and also get you more blocks and that really was something that i stood by last year as well because i would have a build that has like a 60 vertical and a decently high block and then like the same block but higher vertical and i could notice a lot more chase downs and stuff so anyway you guys see i jumped and uh yep there's the good bad and ugly that i'm talking about but you guys are gonna see some good coming up later in this video we're just starting all right if you guys made this far you have made it to a good spot in the video trust me it's about to start heating up so i get a rebound offensive rebound get an assist things like that if you guys have made it this far comment down below wreck 
plug if you want to see more rec because you guys are really enjoying these videos and you know i like 5v5 basketball i really really do if you guys don't know i actually have a play now channel play now online which is what got me into 2k link is in the description if you guys want to subscribe but only if you like play now now my boy bullet was going crazy okay I have no idea what this man was doing that actually didn't count which is unfortunate but I want you guys to also let me know as you see me trying to inbound the ball that's it and we lose it they do have one AI by the way but you know AIs are actually really good this year so it doesn't really matter that much but let me know what you guys think on the blocks that you have tried do you think vertical matters look at me jumping up right there to get that rebound I almost lose the ball but I hit bullet wide open and yeah he's gonna miss that as well so anyway as we're starting to kind of get some sort of a lead you guys are gonna see some crazy stuff really really soon trust me like i said if you made it this far it, the video is starting now you know what i'm saying like i got you the intro and we're showing the gameplay but you're really about to see just constant back and forth back and forth what 99 block can do look at this oh my gosh anchor actually pops up right there instant replay wow now was that as you see anchor popping up on a jumping at a three-point shot is that an animation that we would have got with gold anchor i have no idea is something is that even like if you had bronze anchor and you jumped at the right time is that going to give you that animation i really don't know for sure right we can't go back in time and you know okay now the build has bronze anchor let's see if we get that but that was a crazy animation all right so as you all see anchor is not just for getting blocks around the rim it's for literally stopping the ball from going in at all now this build i think is really really cool of course like i said what i would change if i was to change things like get higher pass accuracy and stuff but i actually really like how it came out and you see me jumping up to get that rebound i'm telling you man vertical was pretty you guys will see my stat line at the end of this game vertical is actually important and a lot of people i feel like disrespect vertical they don't go high vertical and then they wonder why their build with block doesn't get a lot of blocks and things of that nature you know so you guys see right here i got double takeover i don't even have mamba on my burner account yet so i definitely need to grind that out i'm just at the moment selecting two takeovers but look at this no no so i'll go ahead and tell you guys by the way if you're decently at all in good position you're not scoring on hall of fame maker like unless you know you've seen that block in the beginning well it wasn't a block but basically should have been a block like sometimes 2k is just gonna 2k but look no you are not going to score in the paint when you got hall of fame anchor so is there a difference that i've noticed between let's say silver and hall of fame yes 100 percent. you will block more right there pogo stick did not work in time for me to get a block but at the same time silver anchor i think is what 87 block and 87 to 99 is very expensive there's much more you could get on a bill but give me that block real quick give me that block if you went 87 versus 99 block so is it worth it i really don't know how to answer it besides telling you guys it depends on your play style so i can't just tell you yes it's worth it no it's not worth it if you know what i'm saying like people play rec people play ones court twos threes all those types of things right so if you're playing rec pro-am fives you know threes and you're really heavily relied on by your team to guard the paint which is usually what the center's job is in fives it definitely could be worth it but i would say that you would probably be okay with silver or gold anchor last year even hall of fame anchor wasn't that good versus decent people like look at this miss right here by the way look at this miss i don't know if hall of fame anchor has intimidator in it but it definitely looks like it if you guys have played the older 2k so what i'm trying to say is you will notice a difference but how big of that difference is going to impact the game versus what you could do with those other 12 attributes you see what i'm saying so i think that most people would be okay going 87 block which i or whatever silver anchor is or 93 block for gold anchor however as you guys see from this gameplay nobody scores in the paint with 99 block so like i said it really depends on the style what you're looking for this build give me the putback also has really high speed which allows me to run down and do things like that so 
it's up to you. It's one of those that I can't really give a yes or no on. It just depends on your play style and what your team is requiring from you. So I would say there is play styles that definitely could warrant having a 99 block. However, you could do much better on a build because it's so expensive to go up that high. But look at this. What? What was he thinking? What was this man thinking? The snatch block of doom. The demoralization, you know how bad that has to feel, how embarrassing that has to feel, getting a disgusting snatch block like that. So like I said, if you really want to be the paint stopper, this is going to do it. 99 block is going to do it. And in the wreck, as you guys see, if you shrink that floor and especially just, you know, have a 99 block and close out the paint, essentially, and, you know, they know you have a 99 block, they looked before the game started, it can be huge for a 5v5 team because a lot of rec players need that paint. They really, really try to score in the paint back doors and you know, they have high driving dunks. So if you're just over and over stopping that, that's a huge part of their game. They have to rely on, you know, cutting up the zone and then scoring in the middle on catch and shoots and breaking the zone or whatever it is. If you run a squad, especially probably no squad rec where it's even more disorganized basketball where a lot a lot of well low iq there's a lot of low iq players in there you guys know what i'm talking about right so they're just running to the rim and trying to score you're gonna just be sending them back all day so yes i would actually make a 99 block build on 2k24 for 5v5 now 3v3 I don't know about 3v3. You see me just toying with the center right here and then taking a the layup because in 3v3, like, I don't know. I feel like you could go less block and get a shot on your build to be a popper. Look at this. I jump right here and I get back in time to get a contest with Hall of Fame Pogo Stick. So now if you were probably like, oh my God, he's dancing around saying yes or no, it's because really it's very subjective. But as you guys see, 99 block is crazy. Now, 2K Labs has done some tests on 99 block and 2k toots did but you know I, although i really do like 2k labs and i've shouted them out many many times the test that 2k labs and toots have done i don't feel like represented anchor how it should like some of them like basically as you see him greening that right there while cold so that's one uh side effect to having a high block is you think you're gonna stop everything but if they do time the the dunk meter right it's just like last year where you're not in control of it like it's the person on offense that's in control but anyway their test was like hands up in the paint versus like basically taking a very heavily contested shot and then showing the percentages not like I don't know how to explain it like showing anchor how it should actually look where basically people running in they're trying to dunk on you they can't dunk on you that you're getting those misses from the dunks where you know like you, you see what i'm saying like bro people are scared in this gameplay to even go in the paint when the other team sees that 99 block the you know if someone tries to dunk meter on you how it's going to give them a little bit lower of a dunk meter look at this i ah, get a foul so i hope that I could try to answer your guys' question here uh, completely on if 99 block is worth it. If not, let, leave me a comment. I did grind this build to Hall of Fame Anchor. I'll try to answer some questions on you know what, what I should do. But you guys see, I'm trying to do another inbound right there and I still can't inbound the ball. I keep getting turnovers and look, I'm just trying to show you all that my turnovers were literally just me trolling at the end of the game, but we still got more coming up. Okay. So trust me, there is still more coming up. I'm just, you know, we're messing around, bro. We're up 40 points. Okay. You don't have to take every possession serious. That one, that one was literally not even trolling. It just went out of bounds, which is a reason why I said that I would have went higher pass accuracy, obviously on a build like this, but hold on. We got to go back. We have to go back right here look where i jump boom stop right there right there i just jumped i'm jumped in the air but i make it back for a block because of hall of fame anchor because of hall of fame pogo it's worth it man if it, it is definitely and then i get another block right there it is definitely something that you could use in a 5v5 setting i would not be mad at all if i jumped in the wreck and my teammate had a 99 block is all i'm trying to say you know what i'm saying so you don't necessarily have to be six foot nine but man the vertical to go with the block is insane you guys seen i you know i got that snatch block a minute ago that was a high vertical contest snatch block right and even on these rebounds we're jumping up so high 
now right here at the end of this game we are trying to hunt for a triple double because you see we got 27 rebounds 14 points so i find a man open and we got nine assists now if you guys made it this far man comment down below loyal plug like i told y'all i do have a second channel where i play play now online on 2k24 so only if you like play now online the link is in the description and you see me making him miss a dunk again right there hall of fame anchor pops up but then bullet gets dunked on i'm telling y'all i think intimidator might be inside of anchor although i don't think 2k has said anything about it i'm pretty sure intimidator is in the game you see what i'm saying but look at look at this look at the vertical jumps for the rebounds i'm trying to get this triple double i'm worming people out of the way and no one can make a shot to give me a triple double i'm trying my hardest out here bro I'm doing anything I can, everything I can, trying so hard to get this freaking one last assist. And hold on. Eh, yep, I did not make it in time for Pogo. So you guys seen the good, the bad, the ugly. You basically seen every time someone went on the into the paint on me. So sometimes you will get those really nice, you know, back, be able to make it back and get the block. Sometimes you're not going to be able to. Sometimes you don't get the block but you get a contest which makes them miss the shot and finally nope we do not get the triple double but remedy's wide open to complete the 14 point 10 assist 31 rebound triple double which is pretty nasty in my opinion i think that's pretty nasty so anyway guys if you want to see a 99 ball handle in the wreck what does a 99 ball handle look like click this video or your builds will get deleted on 2k24 i would not risk it nah i'm just kidding bro but click this video tap it whatever you gotta do man 99 ball handle i bet you have not seen that i'm about to be out of here peace